Hello, welcome to my channel. So I'm super excited because my bird room is getting a makeover. And this is my bird room. Now it hasn't been painted in about 12 years because I was kind of nervous to paint, you know, with the fumes and hurting my birds. But I'm gonna be putting all my birds in my living room. I'm gonna close this door off and all the cracks under the door so no paint fumes get out and open up the door to the outside to this room and make sure it's all nice and dry and clean and all the fumes are gone before I put them back in. So the painting is gonna be done. I have to take all these uh, decals off the wall and I have to take all the, the perches and the boings off the wall, of course. So I just wanna show you what it looks like beforehand. Now some of my birds are out, some of them are in because it's late and I've been cleaning the room. I gotta get it ready. Got some decals there on the ceiling. Here's some of my birds. I don't know what color I'm painting it yet. So there's my door to the outside which I can open up so all the fumes uh, go out. I got the curtains there and the other side of the wall there. I don't have any decals on that side except for the one there in the corner. I gotta take that perch off the wall. And I'm getting new floors, which I'm really excited about. That's the most exciting part for me. And so I am replacing the wooden floor with tile floors, which will be a lot easier to clean up. I can actually mop the tile floor because a wooden floor is much harder to clean. You can't just get them off. You gotta use a special um, cleaner and, and whatnot uh, to clean the wooden floor. So I just cover it up with all these mats and that's a, that is a bamboo carpet that I've used for years. You can tell it's all worn out and I can't even like, clean it anymore. I just put it there to cover the floor and it kind of blended in. So I'm really excited to get the new floor. So now I get to get started. I, the first thing I gotta do is move all the birds to the living room. So that'll take me a while. Ta-da! Listen to that echo. That means all my birds are out of the room. It's so quiet in here. Say hello. Hear that? Really neat. It's really loud in here though. So all my birds, they're all out in the living room. I've taken them all out. I've taken all the floor protectors out. And now I have to remove all the decals on my wall, all the hanging perches, and then I'll get on to my next step. So here I go. So I finally got everything off the walls. We even took off the, the cord around the, the baseboards from the, the walls so I can paint right down uh, to, the, to the floor. And then the, there's gonna be a new tile going in with tile borders. So uh, we filled all the holes in the walls, sanded them. So it's all ready for paint. We even did the closet. The closet is a mess. So we had to do that. We haven't even painted it. It's a different color altogether from the walls. Actually, that's kind of the color I'm going to paint it now. So it's all painted, all the walls are painted. It's like a light blue. And I've actually done the ceiling a little bit darker blue. I was thinking about uh, painting some clouds up there, but I've never done it before. And I was looking at some videos on YouTube to see how, I don't know, I might do, I might try it. If not, uh, I'll just leave it blue. It looks more like the sky. And uh, yeah, so it's just drying right now. Just doing the trim. And so tomorrow, the floors are coming. So these are the old floors. I didn't really care if I dropped any paint on it. You can see the, uh, the damage over there by the door. 
and the, the floor I'm getting is tiles and it's gonna look really ne neat. I hope anyways, I picked out some nice ones. And so tomorrow's the day that they will bring the tiles and put them in. The floors are done. It took three days for them to do the tiles and I did a tile border because the birds could chew the baseboard and this way it's easy for me to clean up and they won't chew it. So this is my new floor. It's got tans and browns and grays and some kind of like a, maybe a, like a blue uh, tinge to it. It looks okay with the blue, with the blue walls, my blue ceiling. So I'm really happy with this. I can't wait to get the birds in here. So what do you think? I really like it. So my next step is this closet. I have to paint inside and I have to paint all the trim around the doors. I painted the trim around the, the big patio door, but the closet door and my bird room door, <laughs> I didn't do that yet because they were here for three days and I couldn't walk on the floor. And my doors don't fit anymore, so they have to get cut. I was thinking I might leave the door off my bird room and do something else with the door, like maybe a screen or something. I don't know, I'll see. So my next step is to paint the closet and the trim. And in the meantime, I just want to stare at my floor. I really like it. Now I can just mop it and not have to worry about ruining my wood floor anymore. It's very nice. I love it. I painted the closet the same color as the walls and I painted the doors beautiful white and I did put the bird room door up for now anyways, but I'll probably end up keeping it there. So I just shut it so I can show you. All right, so my next step is this wall here. I am going to put a mural on it, a beautiful mural. So this is the mural I chose, isn't it beautiful? It looks like the jungle and there's a parrot on the top right corner and there's a butterfly in the top left corner. So look at that parrot. Isn't that neat? I wish there was more birds in here. That would be awesome. Maybe I can get some like stickers to put on there. But look at the vines. That's this beautiful flower. All these beautiful plants. I love this one. I bet you that my, bud, my budgies especially will try to land on that. Well, we're gonna see what they're gonna do once they're in here. But well, look at that beautiful flower up there. And there's a butterfly with some berries up there, more leaves, beautiful flower. I love this flower, it's really bright, looks beautiful. I just love it so much. It took about two hours to put up. It's our first time putting up a mural, so if we put up another one, it would go faster because now we know, you know, what to do, what to expect and all that. We had to cut it because there's the lion or the tiger. We had to cut it because it was actually bigger than my wall, so that's why it took a long time. If we didn't have to cut it, it would have um, obviously taken us less time. And then what I did is I got some paint and I painted my, uh, the, the, the plug switch there, I painted that one dark green. And I have another one over here, I'll show you. I just don't wanna to go too fast. Make you dizzy. Anyway, <laughs> I put that one lighter. I couldn't find the right uh, color, but it was close enough. It looks good, you can't even see. I'm not gonna paint the, the white part because I'm gonna be you know, losing it a lot. It'll just chip off. So it just actually blends in with the mural. But anyways, it looks okay. And uh, yeah, let me know if you like it. I can't wait to get the birds in here to see what they're going to look like against the mural. So these are the decals I chose for the wall where the flight cages will go. They're vines with some flowers and they came with some birds. And those are just like falling leaves and falling flowers. I thought it was like appropriate for a bird room.
And this is what my niece did for me. My niece uh, painted this for me freehand. I told her I wanted a palm tree on the wall. I was gonna try, but I don't have time because I work all day and I'm busy with my animals and other things in my life. So she wanted to um, try it because she is an, an artist and she's never done it a palm tree before. And look how amazing it is. Look at it. She even drew some uh, plants at the bottom. Now, if she had more time, she would go right along that bottom. But I really got to get my birds in here because it's been quite a few weeks, and I wanna I wanna get them in. So maybe in the future she can uh, finish up the bottom there. But look at it. It's so uh, almost realistic. So my next step is to be hanging up the perches that will be hanging above the cages. There's going to be some, you know, throughout the room above the cages so that their, um, you know, their droppings will fall below on the plastic that's on top of my cages to catch the droppings. So I'm going to be hanging some, you know, in this wall here. So this is the wall behind me here and there's going to be cages against this wall as well and I'm going to be hanging perches right above their cages. Ta-da! So I got all the hanging perches up and all the things I needed to hang. I did have to bring all the birds in because I wanted to judge where I was going to hang it. So all the birds are in here. They haven't um, been out of the cage yet. So I'm going to make that another video. So make sure to subscribe, hit the notification to see that video when my birds first come out in my newly renovated room. So I'm going to show you up close all the stuff I have hanging here. And of course, you know, if I find more stuff to hang, I might, if there's room, um, to hang uh, some stuff up. So I will show you what everything looks like. All right, so I got this hanging perch here. When they land on it, it does swing a little bit. And I have their play stand right below it. And then I have a boing here with another swinging perch and this beautiful net uh, behind it. My lenny's really love that and the canaries love it and actually the budgies do too, they all do. My cockatiels don't seem to land on it, but it's there if they want to. And that's my canary singing now, isn't that beautiful? It still seems to get echoes in here, so I should have put more stuff in, I don't know. But all my birds are in here. And there's another boing right here. And another net, which I picked up at the bird show uh, last weekend that I went to. And I also picked up that swing there. And this is another like rope, it's like a rope swing. I've hung everything up with hooks. And then that's the, uh, like a circle perch. You can see it in the shadow, it's kind of sideways right now. But the budgies love that, they, they always land in there. And then I have, uh, you know, their other stand. I gotta clean the top of the cages. I haven't cleaned, you know, inside their cages or on top. And so I'm gonna be cleaning everything and I'm gonna show you uh, when they come out and see what they do and see if they try to land on any of the new uh, decals that I put on the wall. There's some vine decals back there. I'll show you the other side of the room too. So this is the other side of the room with the jungle mural. It's actually kind of hard to see my birds except for my white canary. I haven't got the cages all set up yet. Those two cages on the bottom are empty because my cockatiel will go in there. But since I had all my birds in my living room, I had to kind of put them in smaller cages. So he will be coming out of there and going in the bigger cage. But you know, they're all, all of them are out of the cage all day anyways. And so basically I only hung this rope here with the two boings. I just hope they don't reach the wall and chew my new mural. I don't think they will because there's no like you know opening where they can get their beaks into. 
And so I usually have my Java perch here, and that's my cockatiel Monty. So I'll be putting that back there probably. And most of my birds spend their time on the other side anyways. So we'll see, I don't like to hang things where there's no cages. Like to the left of that, my door is there and that would be open. If I hang something above that, they'll poop on my door, which I don't like to clean, you know, all the time. It just makes it a big mess. And especially, I just painted it. And, uh, and then my curtains are there. And if the Java perch is where Monty is, I don't really need nothing above it. So they got lots of things to do on the other side. And then I hung up my bird clock again. Right here. I love that clock. It does a different bird each hour. And some of my birds actually mimic the bird uh, that's playing on the clock. It's kind of cute. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you got some ideas from my bird room that you can use for your bird room if you have one. And let me know if you do have a bird room or if you're going to be um, making one for your birds. If you have a video, even better, just put it down below in the comments. You can put the link. It'll go to spam, but I'll approve it. And I would love to see your video of your, your bird room because uh, I love to see the bird room. I might get other ideas and you might get ideas from me. So I'm not totally finished my bird room. I will be adding a little bit here and there. But my next video will be about all my birds coming out and them checking out the new bird room. And especially the budgies, they will love it. The budgies and canaries, actually they will all love it. And they love to climb on all the ropes and the perches. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification. That way you won't miss that video because I'm excited. So I want to show you my excitement and their excitement when they come out of their cage because they've been in my living room for, I don't know, it's been two or three weeks. I lost track. And so it was a lot of work to put them in there and bring them all back. I have to clean my whole living room now, put everything back. All the birds are in here and now I have to organize their cages, organize all, you know, the stuff I have for my birds, I have to do all that. And then they're all going to come out and they're all going to have a great time. So make sure you don't miss that video. All right, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.